When reading the results list from a library search, you will see the title of the book, the author, and the year it was published. More importantly, you'll see the format, whether or not it's available, the location, and the call number. Let's learn more about these pieces of information. Here we have a title search for the William Shakespeare play Hamlet. This play has been performed several times, and that's why you see various formats on this page. We have a book, video, audio CD, and more. Pay close attention to this label to know the format you are accessing. Ebooks can be identified by looking at the book format with a link that says Available Online. For physical items in the library, you should first look to see if the book is available or not available in the library. If items are marked as available in the library, then look at the location. We have books on all floors of the library. On the third floor, we have the archives and special collections, main stacks, and oversized books. On the second floor, we have more main stacks, the popular reading collection, and the curriculum materials collection. On the first floor of the library, we have reference books and new books. You can find this information on the library homepage under General Info and Building Directory. Or you can ask for a building map at the Information Desk. One area that library users can't go into is our basement storage. For these items, you will need to request that we bring up the item by clicking this request link and filling out the form. Although anyone can use this request link to have any book pulled from the library shelves. You will also receive an email when the item is ready, which is typically in two hours. And you can pick up the item at the circulation desk. Aside from knowing which floor the item is on and its general location, you will need something more specific that points to the individual book. That's what call numbers are for. Think of a call number as the address of that book, and these addresses are ordered alphabetically and numerically. Let's look at an example. If I was looking for this book, Hamlet by William Shakespeare, then I would first check that the item is designated as available. Then I would look at the location, which is the main stacks. I know that books in the main stacks are on two floors, so I'll use the building directory on the library website to see how the main stacks are split. Books with the call numbers that start with A through PM are on the second floor, and call numbers that start with PN through Z are on the third floor. The first few letters of the call number for Hamlet are PR. This tells me that the book is on the third floor. When I go to the third floor, I will look for these signs that direct me towards the main stacks. At the stacks, there are signs to show which books are located within that stack of books. Once I find the signs with PR, I would then look for the next part of the call number, 2807. The sign shows that this book stack has books between PR1896 and PR2890. My call number is PR2807, so my book should be here. I will look on that side of the stacks to find exactly where the books with 2807 are. You can see that I'm getting close because all of these books are also by William Shakespeare. Once I find the books that all start with PR2807, I then look at the next part of the call number, A2T46. So I narrow it down until I find the exact call number and book. If you have any questions, please ask a librarian.